Hello everyone, today's video is about Molluscum contagiosum, also known as waterworts. Molluscum contagiosum is a viral infection of the skin caused by a pox virus called the Molluscum contagiosum virus, MCV. The Molluscum contagiosum signs and symptoms include small raised pink skin growths with a dimple in the center just like you can see here. They are usually 1 to 5 mm in diameter and may be seen singularly or in groups. The lesions are also said to have a pearly appearance. These lesions are generally painless, although they may sometimes become itchy or gets irritated. Mollusca may affect any area of the body, with the most commonly affected being your body trunk, legs and arms, neck and face, and genital area. Adults typically have mollusca in the genital area, and this is considered to be a sexually transmitted infection. Because of this, if genital lesions are found in children, sexual abuse should be suspected. The lesions are rarely found on the palms of the hands or the soles of the feet. Mollusca contagiosum usually appears around 7 weeks after infection with the virus. The lesions usually go away within a year with no treatment and they leave no scarring. It may last up to 4 years and it is known to last longer in immunocompromised patients. Next, let's see how the virus is transmitted. As you can see from its name, Mollusca contagiosum is extremely contagious. It can be transmitted in many ways, including direct skin contact, contact with infected objects also known as fomites, and auto-inoculation, which is also known as self-infection. Person-to-person direct skin contact, for example, contact sports or sexual activity can transmit molluscum contagiosum. Many cases of molluscum contagiosum in adults are transmitted by sexual activity. Contact with infected surfaces, fomites, include sharing personal items, including linens such as clothing and towels, and also bathing sponges, pool equipments, and toys. Molluscum can also be spread from one part of the body to another by scratching or picking the lesion from one part and then touching another part of the body. This process is called auto-inoculation, also known as self-infection. Shaving and electrolysis are also other means of auto-inoculation. The molluscum contagiosum virus remains in the top layer of the skin and doesn't circulate throughout the body. Thus, it cannot spread through coughing or sneezing. And as it lives only in the lesion, once the lesions are gone, then you cannot spread it to other people. Prevention methods to avoid spreading the virus to other people include washing your hands, avoiding touching the bumps, and also avoiding sexual contact if you have mollusca on genital areas. You shouldn't share or borrow personal items with other people and also cover the bumps with clothing when you're around other people. However, it's better to leave the affected area open to the air when you're not around others. When swimming, also cover the bumps with a watertight bandage. Next, let's see the risk factors. Molluscum contagiosum is most common in children 1 to 10 years old. However, adults may get infected too. People at increased risk for getting the disease include immunocompromised patients, for example, people infected with HIV, or people having cancer therapy or immunosuppressants. Atopic dermatitis is also a risk factor because people with atomic dermatitis get breaks in their skin very often and it makes it more likely for mollusca to spread to other body parts as well. Crowded living conditions in a warm, humid climate is also a risk factor. So how is mollusca contagiosum diagnosed? Physicians can usually diagnose molluscum contagiosum just by looking at their appearance. But if they have any doubt, it can be confirmed by excisional biopsy which is also known as skin biopsy, which means they take skin scrapings from the lesion and view them under a microscope. The histological findings from the skin biopsy include the molluscum bodies, also known as henderson Patterson bodies in the epidermis above the stratum bacilli, consisting cells with abundant large granular eosinophilic cytoplasmic inclusion bodies. Millions of variants that have proliferated in the cytoplasm of the affected cells result in the characteristic intracytoplasmic bodies and then they compress the keratinocyte nucleus, so we can also see a small nucleus that has been pushed to the periphery. <coughs> Lastly, let's see the treatments. Because molluscum contagiosum is self-limited and they go away without treatment and scarring, so initial recommendations are usually just to wait until the lesions go away on their own. However, you may become a good candidate for treatment under certain conditions. For example, when you are a communo-impromised patient, or if you have atopic dermatitis, or the mollusca lesions are large or widespread, or you are just worried about spreading the virus. Lesions in the genital area may also be treated to prevent them from spreading.
For mild cases, over-the-counter ward medications, for example, salicylic acid, can be used to shorten infection duration. Tretinine cream can also be applied to the lesion. Oral cimetidine has been used for children as an alternative treatment as it is less painful and less invasive than other procedures. Physical removal methods include cryosurgery, which means freezing the lesion with liquid nitrogen, and curatage, which is scraping the lesion off, and also laser therapy for people with weakened immune system. They can be painful and can result in scarring and infection. <coughs> Lastly, it is the overview time. So Molluscum contagiosum, also known as water warts, are viral infection of the skin caused by a pox virus called the Molluscum contagiosum virus, MCV. And they are seen as small raised pink skin growths with a dimple or dit in the center. And they are usually 1 to 5 mm in diameter and they are seen like this. Any area may be affected, but these are the common areas, and if genital area is affected, it is usually from sexual transmitted disease. It is generally painless, and it usually goes away within a year, and it leaves no scarring usually. Molluscum contagiosum is extremely contagious, and it can be spread from person to person, and also from contact with infected objects, fomites. And you can also spread from one part of your body to another by auto-inoculation. The risk factors include weakened immune system, atopic dermatitis, and also crowded living conditions in warm, humid climates. The diagnosis is usually made on appearance, and it can be confirmed by skin biopsy. The histological findings include molluscum bodies, henderson Patterson bodies, and the large granular eosinophilic cytoplasmic inclusion bodies, as you can see in here. As for treatments, as it is self-limited, the treatment may be unnecessary. Or if it's in the genital area, treatment is usually recommended. And also, if you have certain conditions, then you're a good candidate for treatment. Oral cementidine is usually used in pediatric patients. And also, physical removal methods include cryosurgery, curatage, and laser. And the side effects include pain, scarring, and infection. And if you're still here listening, it would be very nice if you could subscribe to my channel, as I'm going to try my best to make better contents every time. Also, you can download this note spreadsheet from the link in the description box. Lastly, thank you very much for watching my video. Okay, then see you in my next video. Bye!